One of these days, I'll understand everything about ReZero. That day is certainly not today, though. But with today's episode, I want to take a sort of different approach to it. I could go through all the events, but I don't feel like I have that much to add. It was a good episode, gave us some information, new characters, and I don't have major complaints. But I feel like most of what I would say you could just get by watching the episode itself. So instead, I want to take a look at Subaru specifically this episode. How he's grown and how he just breaks convention for a main character. At the start of the episode, we got Ekidona bringing Subaru for a tea party. Where she is willing to tell him any information that he wants to know. But he doesn't care about any of that. Instead, he just wants to go make sure Amelia is okay. This is really interesting because it goes against what we normally see. Typically, this would be a big exposition scene to flesh out the world. But nope, Subaru only cares about Amelia. And that shows his single focus. He cares about the things he cares about very deeply. But for everything else, well, it doesn't matter. He's not interested in solving the mystery of why he was taken to this world, what's going on with the world itself. Instead, he only cares about the things that directly affect him and those he cares about. Though, to be fair, it is kind of annoying to say one answers, but it shows the type of person Subaru is that he would pass up that chance because he's worried about Amelia. Granted, if he wants to best protect Amelia in the future, it would be good to learn as much as he could about all the witches, but I feel that's too much long-term thinking for him to worry about right now. Then Subaru's other interesting moment in the episode was him actually not doing something, and that is when Amelia was talking with the villagers. Here, Subaru's actions or lack thereof ended up showing how much he has grown and learned. Some of the villagers were questioning Amelia's motives, wondering why she is doing this, why she's trying to help them, if it's to just aid her for the royal selection, or if there's something more. This reminds me of the big royal selection meeting between all the candidates we saw last season, where people started to attack Amelia for being a half-elf. Back then, Subaru lashed out at them, angry that they would ever insult the object of his love. Here, though, Subaru just gently encourages Amelia to give her answer. He no longer feels like he has to solve every problem for her. She is very capable, able to handle herself both in battle and in moments like this. Now, he loves her and will do anything he can to support her, but sometimes the best thing to do is just, just take a step back and let her handle what she can. I was not expecting to enjoy Subaru and Amelia's relationship as much as I have during the show, but every episode this season had a really great moment between them, and I want to keep seeing these. Though, of course, while Subaru may take a step back from time to time when he feels it's appropriate, when Amelia really needs him, he will rush in without thinking of anything else, as we saw during the trial at the end of the episode. Then the trial actually showed some interesting things about Subaru, too, when we saw him on Earth. There were tons of figures of white-haired anime girls in his bedroom, and this shows Subaru's obsession. Actually, I think that might be the best word to describe Subaru. He's obsessive. When he finds something he wants, he will stop at nothing to get that. And it makes sense when you think about how much he's pursued Amelia. So I think next episode will be really interesting once we see his world and his life on Earth. And his dad, too, is very interesting. I have questions about him. I have also gotten ideas for how I'm going to wake up my brother next time I need to do that. I don't think he'll like those ideas. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought of the episode or Subaru as a whole. Though, please, no web novel spoilers or any medium that's further along. Please like if you enjoy me talking about these videos, and subscribe if you want to see more ReZero videos, because I will definitely be making them. So once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.